Hi Gemini, so I'm here to do your readings from the 1st of May to the 7th of May, so it'll be for the week coming. I am recording these um, on the new moon, the new moon in Taurus. Um, the readings will be extended, that will be in the description box below, so you can hit the Vimeo link or you can join uh, the community on Patreon now where you can get all of the extenders to all the videos. Um, also, in the description box below is a link to a donation page. I think it's GoFundMe for my friend Katie. So if you're local to the area, you know, you know Katie's story. And if you're not, um, Google Katie Kenyon Burnley, Katie Kenyon Padium. Um, and you'll understand uh, why I've added that link because i don't really want to talk about it on here but any donation you know no matter how small towards uh, a farewell and uh, a children a children's future so i'm going to dive straight in for my fellow gemini's the nan verf is enjoying last little luxury is spending quite time long successful self-employment so this week could be a focus on especially with the new moon energies Sorry, I'm getting comfy. I'm in the front room today. <coughs> um, like manifesting career goals. You know, it could be... Um, there's definitely manifestational energies with the tarot at the moment. Um, and especially with being on the new moon in Taurus as well. So it's very earthy, very grounded. Financial career, that type of thing. Um, it's about independence. The noun of earth is about independence. Whether you're a male or if you're a male or it's female on the card. But... It's about striving forward and maybe you're looking at towards being financially independent or, um, you, you know, a career in a different time. You know, what, then what you... Oh, my God. What's costing that is the moon. <laughs> Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, releasing fears that are holding you back. So what are you holding yourself back from, especially with this new moon energy? Where is it that you're holding yourself back? Why aren't your dreams? Why haven't your dreams manifested in the past? You know, is it that taking that risk of like, going forward and putting yourself out there and, you know, that type of thing. Um, so that's your challenge to kind of dilute the fears that are holding you back. Why is this coming around now for my fellow Geminis? Oh, my God. The Ace of Fire. An exciting new opportunity. Could be love, could be... It look, definitely looks like financial. An exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. So the whole energy of this, and I'm absolutely loving it, with the moon being there and the nine of earth, um, you know, it is time to change your life now. And that is what new moon energy does. That's what it, it brings in that energy of how can we change our life? You know, I said in the Aquarius reading, when we are manifesting, you've got to... Like, kind of remember that it, it every intention goes out. So if if you're sat there and you're like, I hate my job, I want to work somewhere else, and then you're going to work and you've been laid off, it's kind of forcing you to go and find that new job, you know, so just be careful. <laughs> Especially if you're trying to manifest from a place of lack. Nope. So in the recent past, it does look like you've kind of taken that risk, taken a leap of faith, kind of put things in motion. We have the Dreamer, which is the full card. Some of my Geminis, and I'm a double Gemini, and this has definitely been me for the last few weeks, lucid dreaming, vivid dreaming, so real, you know. But, so you could be get, you could be downloading whilst you're asleep as well. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So... I do feel like you're being guided down a certain path. On top of that, we've got the Ten of Water, a content and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met and trustworthy relationships. So in the past, I feel like you have been like kind of um, assessing people and assessing yourself, you know, doing the inner work, assessing yourself, just wanting to be happy because the Ten of Water is about being happy, being emotionally happy you know it's abundance in all areas it can be financial i know it's not the sound of earth but it's about just being happy and safe and secure within the people and the circles that we're around and what we do for a living and how we are portrayed how we put ourselves out there it's about being happy with that 
you know, and having those good people around us. Because at present we've got the Ace of Water. So emotions, emotions are definitely like heightened around my Geminis at the moment. Falling in love or resurgence of relationships, spiritual growth, enhanced intuition, even new homes. But the Ace of Cups is about being emotionally fulfilled. You know, the cup runneth over. Sometimes though, the cup runneth over, it can be sad things, you know. Um, like my emotions are all up in the air at, at the moment, you know. My friend has just sadly lost a life at the hands of a monster. Uh, let's just leave it like that. But, you know, but it's it's kind of given me this, like, burning need to fulfil a purpose, as in to help protect women and, well, anyone who's suffering at the hands of abuse. That It's given me that push that I, very, that I needed in order to kind of take that new aspect of my new journey which i've been kind of putting off for a while but i've always known it was coming um but that spiritual growth and and that's what that's why i'm talking about that because it's a it's all an aspect of growth and in the dark times more in the dark times that is where we do grow we grow more in the dark times than we do in the light times when pe when things are all like perfect you know um, so some of my Geminis could be manifesting new careers, um, relationships, you know, especially and most definitely careers because near future is justice. I've actually been praying for this one. Um, justice, karmic justice, you know, fair and just decisions, do what you know is right, stand up for your beliefs. And again, if you're putting it out there, if you're going to stand out there and say, right, this is what I want to do, this is who I am, this is what I want to be, the justice card could be dealing with a Libra, but it's more a case of, like, karmic justice. If you can speak your truth and do anything, whatever it is, if you do it from the heart, then that's where your manifestations are going to come into reality. We manifest from that zero-point heart energy, you know? So I'm absolutely loving these regions. In the extended, I'll be digging a lot deeper as to what exactly go is going on. Um, your power is the page of air. Your power is to be the challenge. Challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered with direct act. It's the changes to plans. So this is your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it's coming out as your power. You are your own power. You are a challenge in itself. And it's almost like the Geminis are standing up and like, I'm not going to sit down and I'm not going to shut my mouth. I'm going to speak my truth and I'm going to do what's needed to be done. Uh, so I absolutely love that. So it's definitely like a, a stand up and be heard type energy. Because you're going after what you want. The outside influences, the options, the seven of water, complex decisions, the need to do research, stop procrastinating, stop putting it off. Get out there and do it and own your power. You know, I feel like Geminis have, have like kind of got a fire burning up their arse at the minute, which is forcing you to go forward and grab life by the balls. In the hearts and fears position, we've got the eight of fire. Events moving at fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. And it is, I do feel like there's going to be a lot of things happening at once, a lot of conversations, a lot of like busy, busy energy coming in. But that's what you're manifesting and that is, it's like a burning desire to move forward, which I absolutely love. Because your outcome is, well, the release card, which is my death card, Scorpio energy. The end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation. It is time to move on. So I do feel like you are going through a massive transformation. The old you is dying out. The new you is being rebirthed. The wheel, the wheel of fortune spinning in your favour. A time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward. And fortune is on your side. You know, so it's a massive transformational energy. You've just got to grab it by the horns and go for it. So please go for it. So I'm going to be jumping into the extended, see exactly what it is you're going for. Um, any advice from spirit, your outcomes, things that have gone on in the past that we need to shift. Um, so if this is where I leave you, I'll leave you lots of love. If I'm meeting you on the extended, I'll be over there now. Everything is in the description box below. And again, if you're checking your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus, that's all together on Patreon. You can get all that in the same place. And if you're new, Kater, please visit the link that I put in the description box below. I'll send you love. Bye.